What's up, guys? So, <clears throat> this is obviously just an opinion of mine, so take it as it is. Um, but, who is to blame for high squats? Uh, now, contextually speaking, if you're posting high squats on the internet, um, you know, from your gym, your home gym, your commercial gym, whatever, uh, and claiming PRs and such, and, you know, it's clearly, clearly high, uh, yeah, that's, you suck and you should reevaluate your life. Anyway, I'm, I'm talking more in competition, uh, specifically high level competitions. Think, uh, of course you don't really see high squats at IPF Worlds, but you know, meets of that nature, the U.S. Open, which they're pretty tough too, but you know, big meets with big lifters putting up big numbers, um, competing against each other, uh, that's the key part there, competing against each other. Um, I know for a lot of you, this is just some pseudo-spiritual religious journey, um, and you're only in it for you, and you're only competing against yourself, and good for you and your little journey there. I hope it, uh, hope it helps you expand your horizons, if that's what you're in it for. However, um, at its essence, um, in terms of being a sport, power lift, powerlifting is a competition against other people, um, and it's W's and L's like other sports that said, um, you know, should you be in one of these meets where you're competing directly head to head against somebody, uh, and the judges, you know, you observe maybe in the first flight that they're letting squats go that are an inch or two high, um, and they're getting whites consistently for those. You're competing against somebody else. You're there to win. You're there to take the money, take the trophy, take the gold, etc. Um, why would you not squat high when the judges are letting high squats go? Uh, you know, because at the end of the day, your 800-pound high squat that got white lights is going to put you 50 pounds ahead of your 750-pound good squat to legal depth they got whites they both got whites uh that said your 800 pound high squat is also going to put you ahead of your competitors 770 pound high squat whereas you would be losing by 20 pounds if you did your proper depth if you you know assuming you got 50 pounds out of cutting it high um so you know you could go into bench press up 30 you could go into bench press down 20 um so, you know, it's a competition. Uh, just to make these analogies into other sports, you know, if you're playing football and you're a DB and the refs are kind of letting you get away with holding, you're going to fucking hold. Um, if you're a pitcher in baseball and the umpire is calling strikes wide, you're going to pitch wide. It's, it is, it's sports. You, you're going to take whatever advantage you can to win. So at that point, it is... The judge's fault for the high squats. Um, the lifter, you can't you can't talk shit about the lifter for squatting high in that scenario. He's doing what he has to do to win. Um, and you know if his competitor is getting a high squat passed, by all means, you know get your own high squat passed. Um, you know it works both ways there. So um, sure you can take the high road or whatever. Uh, at the end of the day, if you take a L. Like, Nobody cares the high road two, three years down the road. They're going to look back, oh, this guy won, that guy didn't. Or it, realistically, they're going to say, oh, this guy won, and they're going to forget everybody else existed in that meet is what's going to happen. So, um, uh, and that's how I look at things. You know, you have to look at it as a pure sport. Uh, W's and L's, wins and losses, it's not, at that at that level, it's not the personal journey anymore. It's about directly beating your competition so again judges are letting high squats go judges are giving fast press commands uh judges aren't really paying attention to soft knees on the deadlift etc that's that's a judge issue that's not a lifter issue and you'll see lifters getting berated all the time uh for you know their high squat getting passed the judges passed it the judges should be getting berated for that, not the lifter. The lifter's taking advantage of the situation 
to, you know, win. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. And I'm just going to touch on one more scenario here. Uh, if, if a lifter is seeking out meets where they know the judging is going to be relaxed, just so they can break all-time world records, um, or, you know, inflate their own stats, whatever, pad their squat numbers, etc. It doesn't even have to be a world record. Yeah, that's some bitch shit right there. Like, just, just personally seeking out meets where you know the judging is going to be ridiculously lenient and you can have an advantage, um, just to pad your total or put a world record, whatever. Uh, in, in that case, certainly, I would definitely say, hey, you know, that's... That shows lack of character on the uh, lifter's behalf. Um, but in, in a direct competition, you got to do what you got to do to win. And that's the bottom fucking line.